All right, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the basic functionality of the Milnolta Incident Light Meter. Uh, we're going to be learning what all these buttons mean and uh, how to set it up to take incident light meter readings uh, for your uh, productions. The first thing we want to do is, of course, turn the light meter on. And in this situation, we see um, three indicators that tell us how this light meter is functioning. We have our mode, which right now is set to ambient. We have our time, which refers to our shutter speed or our frame rate. And we have ISO, which refers to the uh, exposure index or speed of our film. First, we want to make sure that we are indeed on ambient mode, which is uh, indicated by AMBI, ambi. If it doesn't indicate that, say for example, you power it up and it's on um, non C or chord, you just press the mode button here on the lower right until it gives you ambient. After making sure the light meter is set to the ambient mode, we want to make sure that our frame rate is set properly. Right now the number 500 refers to a photographic shutter speed, which is not entirely appropriate for motion picture photography. So to do that, we simply look on this side of the light meter and we see these toggle buttons here, up and down. And we're going to be going up with that and cycling through these shutter speed settings past 8,000. And then you see that we switched from time to cine. And cine then indicates that we are dealing with frame rates, which is appropriate for motion picture photography. And 24 frames per second is the standard. So we have that set. So now we're in ambient mode. We have our frame rate set. And now we're going to be setting our ISO, or exposure index, to match the film that, that we'll be using. To do that, I hold down the ISO button, which is right there. And again, I'm going to go back to these toggle buttons, up and down. And that allows me to change exposure index. So if we are shooting with 50D, you see we have 50. If we're shooting with 100T, 200T, 250D, 500T, all of those are examples. And when I have it set to my satisfaction, I release the ISO button, and it remains set at that exposure index. Now that we've properly set our light meter to take basic ambient uh, readings for motion picture photography, that includes setting it to the ambient mode, making sure that it's on the cine function, 24 frames per second. And we've also set our ISO to match our film speed. Uh, now we're ready to go ahead and take a light meter reading. And the way you do this in a basic way, you use this globe, which takes an average of all light sources, striking it from all angles. So to take a basic light meter reading, you would hold this light meter at your subject, aim the globe toward camera, and press this button on the side. Doing that gives you um, two sets of numbers. The first uh, number here, uh, five six, indicates uh, an aperture setting on your aperture ring, so all of those numbers will match: two, two eight, four, five six, eight, eleven, sixteen, twenty-two, so on and so forth. The second number you see there, an eight, indicates uh, how close or far away that is um, to the next aperture setting. So those numbers range from 0 to 9. And in this case, because it's an 8, that indicates to me that it is almost toward a T8 on my aperture. It's just shy of a T8. So it's 80% the way there. Um, so I would probably call this more of a T8 rather than a T56. So that's the, those what those numbers signify there. Um, you can also hold this button down and move the light source, or move the light meter away from the light source or toward the light source and you see those numbers changing based on my proximity to the light source there. So that's a little added uh, function that the light meter has. And that concludes 
our basic tutorial on the Minolta digital light meter. Have fun.